guys, it's Karen from Our Fall Acrylics. How are you? Welcome back. Gonna do a little pour tonight. Hopefully it's as fun as the last video, number 200. To my longtime subscribers. <laughs> Thanks for sticking with me and staring at me that long. I don't like to think about it. <laughs> uh, a lot of different haircuts. Um, yeah, so the results from the last video where we were spinning things out i think i was a little bit too um having a little too much fun because i overspun all of those and they all cracked they all cracked all to hell and that's because if you watch it you see all the white paint flying off and hitting the sides of my box which left nothing but a very 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 i mean super thin um box so thin that if i just take my finger Oh, take my fingernail to it. I can scratch off the paint. So they all cracked. My bad. Learning curve, you know, which is a shame because that's really, really was really pretty. But we'll try again. It didn't matter um, what substrate it was either because it did the same thing on the tile, on the wood. It didn't seem to matter. Um, so more of a base paint. Um and ease up on the spinning, I guess. So I'll do another one of those videos, maybe for the uh, for the live pour, the Super Bowl live pour on Sunday, February 2nd at five o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Join me here and uh, we'll goof off and play and chat. It'll be fun. Um, yeah, let me get started. This is, I guess I should have just called it a series. I'm gonna try one more time to do a blowout with the water color effect. Maybe not so much watercolor. I'm gonna try and get some colors to the edge by making my band down the middle wider. Um, I already have one fail because I ran my hair dryer through it and messed it up. So you don't need to know that. <laughs> but there is a mess on my counter. So this is a um, well-loved, we'll call it, 16 by 20 ampersand panel. Uh, recipe for my house paint. Recipe for my colors and recipe for the cell activator will all come up on the screen. Um, I'm using two blue shades, which has me a little worried. Um, these are all golden fluid acrylics tonight. I have still still on the uh, Cronacridone Azo Nickel Gold Kick. Love it, love it, love it. And then this is um, Turquoise Deep. Cerulean blue deep and then green gold so I think they'll work out I think they'll be pretty together we'll see what happens all right um, the other thing I did different is made my consistency a little thinner in hopes you know thinking that they would move better and blow out better so a bit thinner this time see it still leaves a little bit of a mound but see how fast it disappears Whereas before, um, normally when I use the golden, I don't do anything. I just add the pouring medium, I fill up my cup, and then I put in this, a couple squirts until I get the desired shade I want, and that's it. I don't do anything else. But now I added um, probably a half a teaspoon of water to each of those colors. All right, got my house paint. Give it one last stir. It's got the GAC 800 in it. My Glidden Essentials, and uh, yeah, bombs away, let's go. A nice big puddle on top. And let me think about my order here. Let's go, hmm, which blue? Definitely a blue first. We'll go with the deep turquoise. And then I definitely want the uh, the Azo gold to hit the white. And I wanted this green to hit the turquoise. I kind of had it planned out in my head. And then, then we'll throw one the cerulean blue on top. Kind of wiggle it through everything. 
something like that. Um, finally got a bottle of um, the Australian Floetrol that I ordered from eBay like a month ago. Finally showed up. So have that again. And with my carbon black from Artist Loft Professional Series, three to one ratio. So let's see what happens. Oh, I just stuck my cup in it. I felt it. <laughs> God. Uh, I feel like that band of black is too thick too. So we'll see. I'm gonna kind of wiggle my hair dryer. So um, low, um, cool air, high fan. give a blow in these two spots see if you can get some cells to pop up I don't mind the white I don't know if I like these little this little speckle of white will you go away yeah kind of go away all right let me take off my glasses um, let me throw my apron on too trying to ease up on ruining shirts you know mm. give this all a second to like congeal back in the middle you see my hair going in it Or doesn't want to do anything. Hmm. I'm not gonna worry about that. That these some of these men bright O. If you don't like it, I'll give it another pass. Let's see what happens. See if we get lucky on the first try. Gave it a couple uh, minutes to uh, collect itself in the middle. It still looks like it's stuck right in here. We'll see. All right, I was stuck to my. Yeah, still a little stuck in the middle, so let's go back and forth. See if we can unstick it. Is it me or doesn't that look like, remind you of an aquarium? That's what I see. Right, things seem kind of sort of to be sliding together for the most part. Not everything, but we're going to kind of go with it. Mm. 
All right, I'm not gonna fuss with you. I'm just gonna use my finger and roll you off. All right, come back toward me. Hopefully you can see. Get the white over here a second. Come back the other way. Well, I got some of the watercolor effect a little bit. And I did manage, oh, hold on. Uh, get a little further. And come back. I'm happy that I don't have um, the spine in the middle. I forgot to mention that. That was the the reason I, I blew the hair dryer the way I did is because I didn't want that spine. I only like the spine if it's like, looks like a lightning bolt or something. Let me stare at this. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. Oh, wow. Now I have two white corners. What do I do about it? Or actually kind of three, but this I could easily just go. Oops. I'll grab some green off my counter and add it after. I'm not going to worry about that little spot. Wow. I'm just staring to see if it's worth coming down this way a little bit to get to that. Wow. It's really to get to these two sides, but I really don't like that little white thing there, which is so, so picky. Like so, so picky. But yeah, you know, you like what you like. And I don't like how this, I don't like this up here either. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that off, maybe go that way a little bit, just to, so I don't have negative space there. I don't know how I feel about the negative space. Let me stare. I think it looks ridiculous because I don't have it on this side. I have it on the far side there. So let me wiggle and jiggle a little more. Not a whole lot. Let me come back this way some. Well, actually, I, while I'm down here, since the weight of the paint is there, let me... Let me go downhill a second, if it'll move. It should. Very, very, very slowly, all the way off. And off, and bring it back. Fairly straight, and I'm gonna go over this way. This might take a second. But there, the paint's going off that one corner. There goes some of that white blob. That white edge is almost there, almost there, almost there, almost there, and good enough. Come back. Oh, I like the top better. I needed a good stretching. Bring things back to the middle. Well, that worked. Um, having a wider band and more color um, to blow really got the, um, the paint to the edges. I have two negative space corners I could just add some paint and give them a little blow, right? The rest of it, the rest of it, I think I'm in love, really. Um, well, okay, I'll be honest. Like, I like it a lot. I am bothered. I am hot and bothered that one side is all has all the orange and the other side is all the yellow green. 
like I want it on both sides but I can do that after the fact with my paintbrush I can do the same thing I did in that last one and put a wash over it and add the orange I could add some of this yellow right in here if I wanted to and add some orange in a couple like in here and in here and add some um, to uh, balance it out. And then these two parts here, I don't know if that's worth futzing with. You guys, or I try to blow it out. Let me see what happens. Popsicle stick, hold on. Mm, that. That's better. I can make that uh, this shade. And all I need here is a little bit of white on my corner. Et voila. That's better. Got some color there. Take this all the way off the edge. Do I want to do anything else? Grab some white right there. Right there. Ta -da! I'm staring one last time before I bring you down. It does look very, very much like an aquarium to me for whatever reason. Or butterflies in here. This is this what you see this up close. This is just amazing. This actually turned that corner came out great. Um Besides the um, imbalance of color on this one, on, on the sides, um, I think once I, I will, I'm gonna let this dry um, and cure over the weekend um, and then come back with the dried results. So you'll see it next time you see it, you know, at the end of the video, it'll be, uh, it'll be more balanced. But there's some amazing little details in this guy. I don't know if I like this cluster. Like I have a burning desire to stick my finger in it. I don't mind that it's dark. I just don't like that little bit of white cells right there. Man, it's bugging me. Do I dare? What if I just do this guy and see what happens? Can I get rid of it? Or is it so white under there, there's no hope? And I'm gonna have to put black paint or something or turquoise paint. Right there. Yes, he doesn't want to go away. Maybe I just make that, um, brush that with some orange. Oh my God, Karen, you're gonna, you're gonna screw it up. Hold on a second. We'll fix you, buddy boy. Cover your butt up with turquoise. Yep. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. It's like a, the, like a little strand of grapes or something there. <laughs> no. That's really picky. Let me get you guys down. Ta da! Dun da 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 da. Pretty happy with it. So, this is how it looks now. Take a good look, because the dried results will definitely look different. So, there's this one corner. Look at the, the blending of the colors here. I'm in love. I'm in love, love, love. Right? My little grapes. But then look at this. 
just amazing this whole part here amazing in love and then this side here so the green blue side really super super fabulous and I like how my corner came out too and then back over here like toward the middle and the bottom it goes from the turquoise right into the orange and black and the yellow so cool all the way up this other side and then look at this here yeah and then again orange section and like no more orange for you now we be blue it's <laughs> so cool and then back up to like the big cell area so yeah where am i uh stay tuned for the dried results see you soon bye hey guys i'm back here to show you the final results. You know that intro <laughs> wasn't me creating that, right? That was Jen. Uh, yeah, we were both um, a bit freaked out that we uh, did very, very similar pours on the same day at the same time on the same size canvas with the same colors and the same technique. Kind of blew our minds. Um, here's mine. Go check out Jen's video after this one. Um, I decided not to add the orange to the other side. I'm like, forget about symmetry. You don't need symmetry all the time. Um, I did add uh, orange wash with yellow here. Um, basically, I just took my golden fluid acrylic that uh, Cronacrinone Nickel Azo Gold and some water and then took my paintbrush and redid this section here. I added a little bit of color over here. And then one of these corners, where is it? Down here. Um, and then added some color to the cells in here. Because, you know, started getting carried away with the paintbrush. But there she be. I don't know if it goes like this or like this. I don't know what the orientation should be. Let me get you in close. So there's the top or the side. We'll call it the top for right now. There, there's the section I redid looking good and then all the way down and there's a section on the corner I redid too so yeah hope you guys like it this will get um, a couple coats of resin since it is on wood in a floater frame and then um, I'll put it up for sale uh, if you're interested contact me um, I usually offer special prices before it hits my Etsy shop so try to save people um, a couple bucks uh, see you guys next time Please subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Hit the bell for notifications. Really appreciate it. See you next time. Bye-bye.